Hi, this is Darren Dockerman with High Flow Fuel Injection, and uh, I'm going to show you some more uh, porting secrets for the TPI lower intake manifold. This is a stock GM base, and uh, I started on one port. Um, uh, I've run the carbide through um, the entire length of the port, and uh, I'm getting ready to do the finish work on the port. And here you can see the difference in size and also the uh, the difference in shape. Left is a unported port and right is ported. This one will be matching to a stock size intake gasket. Major difference in these two ports. I'm taking out a whole lot of the uh, the sharp turn here on the side, uh, even more so than usual. Um, I'm going to try it out, see how it goes. As you can see, it's all been removed and straightened here. Big difference. I mean, much straighter, much straighter. You can see the difference. See that line right there? It cuts the, kind of goes through the center of the other side of the port. And over here, you can see you can see there's so much less there. It just just straightens out that port for you know an easier path for the air to hit the. Uh, you know, going to the cylinder head and into the combustion chamber. Also, I've raised all of this in here, all the way through. More airflow, straighter shot. There's the other side. Major difference. I'm just basically uh, giving people hope for the TPI system that uh, there can be a lot done with it. Uh, even with stock parts, you can, you know, do a good port job on all the parts and pick up quite a bit of power. Um, it takes some time, but it's it's well worth it. Throw in some aftermarket runners, port your plenum, and put a cam and headers, and you're on your way to making some serious power. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, check out my Facebook page, High Flow Fuel Injection. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.